Got a Pentair Master Temp 400 and the tub is full of water. As you can see from a previous video, um, I've got a leaking uh, heater exchange coils where the manifold mates to the side of the uh, combustion chamber. So I'm going to take off the manifold and break the seal here, take things apart and uh, replace the coils. They just came in today. Got the manifold off now, and I just wanted to reveal all how why it was leaking. It's um, leaking around the O-ring here. There's no copper tubing for the O-rings to compress against, so I'm getting a leak that's filling up the tub. And this is what it should look like new. Nice and clean, and they are thick, about as thick as a penny. So that was 13 millimeter to get all of the bolts out of the uh, heater manifold. And then now I need to take off this band that holds the lid on the combustion chamber. And that's also coincidentally 13 millimeter. Okay. okay, the bolt that holds the steel belt that seals up the lid is now out. Next step. Come over here since this gas pipe is connected all the way through I need to lift this whole lid and I don't want to take off any of this mess I'm gonna to have to unscrew it and there's a coupling on this side for me to do this so gas valve turn off I loosen this this will come right out because of this entire wall gonna to need to come with it uh, I'm going to need to also loosen this screw here that holds the bottom of the tub so that I can move this plastic out of the way and it can come up with this, with the uh, pipe. And also, this one's gonna have to also be removed. Those can stay, because the tub is staying. But these gotta move just because of the side panel. And that should be everything. It should all come up in one whack. Here I go. Okay, so this is a gas coupling. You may have to hold the bottom side of it because it might tend to spin the, the threads into the 90 degree elbow or the threads going into the gas valve itself, this uh, cutoff valve itself. So if you hold that bottom piece, this should break loose like that. Man, it's tight. Okay. And then once you get that off, these will separate. That's called a union. All right, the top is all off now. I had no idea that that cylinder there was gonna be that long, but it is. Uh, I guess this is how long they are for the 400s, and they're about half that long because there's only three tubes in the uh, 250s, the temp, Master Temp 250s, and this is an absolute mess right here. So here's your first insulating pad oh yeah gosh this is gonna I'm gonna need to get a uh, wet vac and hoover all the sludge out of there and remove uh, this I hope this doesn't cut me anyway it's too glued in there it's gonna be a two-handed job and I don't have a video man so here you go I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and that is why you should always watch your chemicals over the years this is eight years old I'm not watching your chemicals and I got nice white new pads to go with it as opposed to that garbage all right time to swap it all right it's not perfect but I got a wire brush and cleaned off most of the stuff off the sides it's not perfect but I recommend you doing the same maybe you knock down a bit of the uh, corrosion including everything on the, on the bottom too you might prevent a rust hole, premature rust hole, if you get some of that junk off. Time to put in the stuff. I took these out in order. This piece here was sitting on this like that. That actually rusted off of the bottom of this, which the new one, if you want to see, has it attached right there. It's all shiny. So. Since these are in order, I have a flat piece with no hole in it. And then I have a piece right here that has a ledge, a lip on it. And then I have a circular piece 
that uh, didn't make it. I took it out. So this is how the new kit came. It has a pad on it that goes in the middle. And then I have a flat pad on the bottom that's kind of glued. Well, it's not glued, but it's uh, just going to sit there like that. The bottom piece is soft and the top piece is a very hard piece. So I'm just going to stick this like this. And then now stick the rack in here and it rests on that lip. <clears throat> and one of the bolts, pull it tight and it should make a seal. Here we go. Okay, it's completely dark now, but I'm gonna continue this little video. I've got the manifold back on and uh, the part came with um, O-rings already on it. And I think this is supposed to be completely dry forever. So I am without a doubt certain that if I go turn on this cool pump now that uh, nothing on the inside of this heater should be leaking at this point. There's my in and my out. Got a lot of air bubbles because those all the pipes were apart but I come in here. Not a drop is dripping anywhere. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm out of there. There's still some moisture from whenever I had the water hose and the wire brush on it, but this isn't leaking. So this is good. Alright, on with the rest of it. I could shut this down for the night and start the next day. I uh, still may do that because I might want to try to see if this needs to be cleaned. There's my igniter. This pad needs to be replaced. I still have that and right there. And also the pad that goes on top of that is right there. So that's all I'm going to video for tonight. Okay, here's the old top pad that goes on top of the coils and it was oriented like this with that little lip on the down on the bottom side. So it was, it was like this. I'm going to go show you how it fit in here. This little lip goes between the top, whoops, sorry, one video in, the top coil and slides underneath the tub's outer rim, underneath it like that. Okay, so now it's a perfectly aligned for the cylinder to, to drop in. Okay. Got everything back together, plumbing wise and electrical. So it's ready to test. I already know it's not leaking. So I'm gonna turn this back on. Pulls on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here's your 128. R8. Fan's pulling up. No service heater light. Oh. Turn the gas valve back on, that'd be nice. It hasn't clicked yet to turn the gas on, so it's okay to do that at that time. There was the click for the gas heater, I mean the gas valve, and we're heating. Hey, that's it. All right. Hope you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think again. Thanks.